Hey guys, what's up? It is Tony the Chief One here. Today I'll be showing you guys how to render a video in Sony the Vegas Pro 12 and one of the best settings to use for HD 720p video. So, um, Sony Vegas Pro 12 came out just a little while ago, and uh, not a lot has changed, but um, I'm just going to make a video and show you guys what are the best uh, render settings that I use for HD video and give you like the best, clearest, and quality that you can possibly get. Now, there's probably other videos that show uh, different settings, so you know, there's probably some better settings out there, but these are my settings that I use, and they are perfectly fine because they render fast and they leave these f file sizes very small, so that's the best thing. So, the first thing you want to uh, do is import a video. I'm going to put a random video of my old intros I made. Um, the first thing we're actually going to change is the project video properties. So we can go up to this little icon right here and click on it. And uh, these are the this is the template or the project properties that I use for my videos. Um, so you want to go down to template, scroll down, and go to HDV 720 30 frames, or 30p, sorry, 1280 by 720, 29, blah, blah, FPS. Click on this one. Uh, don't change anything here. Um, we're going to go down to full resolution render quality, rendering quality, make sure that is at best. Then we're going to go up to audio and then go up to resample and stretch quality, go to best as well. So you get the best quality out of the video and the audio. And to make sure this uh, project's pro project properties are used in every single video that you import to Sony Vegas Pro 12, go down here and check off the start all new projects with these settings. Then click apply and OK. So once you uh, are done editing your video, uh, then go down to file, render as, and then go down to uh, where it shows the output format. Make sure you want to open up the Windows Media Video V11. And um, we're going to work off of this template, the 6 megabytes per second HD 720p 30, 30, 30p video. So uh, highlight that and then click customize template. Um, once you do that, uh, it's going to pop up this. Uh, we're going to go out the audio tab. Make sure you check off include audio. And you can leave the stuff alone. We're going to go to video. We can leave the image size to high definition. That is 1280 by 720. That is 720p HD. But if you want to get 1080p, then you can go to uh, high definition. But you can also actually, if you want to get the full 1080p, then you want to change this to 1920 by 1080. So that's if you want to get 1080p out of your video. But if you want to keep it at 720p, then just click the high definition 1280 by 720. Then you want to go on to the video smoothness. Um, it should be at 90. Oops, sorry. So just scroll that all the way up to 100 to get the best video smoothness. Smoothness, sorry. You want to go to bitrate. Make sure the internet slash land is checked off and select or type in 6M. Um, yeah, you leave it at that, sorry. Uh, index summary, I'm going to mess with around that. Then when it comes to video rendering quality, go down to best, and you don't have to touch anything else here. Um, to save this uh, settings for your render settings, if you want to save this for later, um, you can go up to template here and you can rename it to, I just rename it to HD YouTube. So you can re rename it to anything you want, then you want to go over to the little save template icon and then click on it, and that will save the template. So whenever you want to render a video again, you can just highlight that this template that we just uh, edited or changed and it will render using that uh, template or properties. So I'll just hit OK and then it will show up in this little menu here under the Windows Media Video V11. Highlight it and then click render. First name your video file and then click render. So uh, those are the uh, project properties and the render settings that I use for my videos. Um, it gives me clear 720p video. Um, it gives me obviously HD video and small file sizes so the uploading time can be shorter and the render time is um, pretty short but it really rendering times really depend on your system and how powerful it is so you need a, at least a fast processor and at least four gigabytes of RAM um, in your computer to um, render in Sony Vegas um, you don't obviously need those but those are obviously recommended so you can get faster rendering times in uh, Sony Vegas so um, I hope you found the tutorial um, helpful and if you need any uh, tutorial suggestions or want me to make a tutorial just for you, then leave a suggestion down below in the comments down below. And uh, I'll definitely gladly make a video for you. Um, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.